Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to the channel. You know where you already at, so ain't no sense of me trying to tell you about it. I'm kind of tired, but I just had to break this story. Did y'all hear the news today? Those two nuts got engaged. Yes, he got down on one knee and called himself proposing to Cynthia Bailey. Okay? The kids were there, or one of the children of his was there, because he got two kids. Of course, Noel was there looking like, I don't know, Mama, I don't know. And you know Nene was definitely not nowhere in the building because she already said it's fake. Candy had definitely tried to tell her to slow her roll. She putting 20 on 10 and ain't that serious. And of course, Nene's choked up about it. Portia smiling and carrying on like, girl, get your going. Don't know if he have any. Eva might be trying to tell her something. Nene already said it's fake. And Portia's just like, I don't know. Get that bad, girl. But Candy already done told her, slow your roll. Didn't I just tell you to stop smelling the coffee or the roses and get with your accountant to see what kind of money you got? Because he got two kids. Two kids from a previous marriage. Girl, are you thinking, Cynthia? Are you really thinking? I'm kind of concerned about you now, all right, because you got your daughter to think about, okay? He got two other daughters, plus that one that I, it seems like he really cares about because he's always being photoed about. It seems like ever since you got messed up with Nene and Candy tried to tell you, slow your roll, but the separation and the breakup between you and Nene got you looking all kind of crazy. I mean, is it because Peter? kind of subliminally put his lady friend by a little court courthouse saying marriage license they got you freaked out so you felt that you wanted to beat him to the altar before he beat you like you're gonna be some spinster getting old and, and decrepit and by yourself I'm like girl what is the point what's the point we're rushing into something that you know nothing really about this man I mean what y'all been dating six months eight months I don't know. It's quite confusing and distressful, okay? Even for me, I ain't got nothing to do with your life, okay? But just in April, Nene went on the talk show called, you know, The Talk. And she was just, uh, was it, what did The Talk or The View? It was in, on April the 12th. And she was on The Talk with, uh, what's her name, uh, Eve and Cheryl Underwood and all those kind of people. You know what I'm talking about. The little um, sitcom show talk that comes on every day around maybe 10 or 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. She was on that show and she was telling Eve that that marriage or proposal he gave her or he's thinking about giving her, it's fake. It's for a storyline. And this was back in April of this year. Now, here we are in July. All right. July 26th. You know, the day. And he gets down on one knee and proposes to Cynthia. Now, all of it is just, you know, it, it, it's making me think fakery. Fakery, fakery, fakery. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know if we need to say congratulations or not. But just let me read a little bit to you, and then I'm going to go when we fast forward. Um, hey, let me see. The story headline, because Celebrity Insider had brought it out. They said, Nene leaks at war with Cynthia Bailey. Real Housewives of Atlanta star claims Bailey's engagement is fake and just a secure, and it's just to secure a peach, meaning the loot, the bag, okay? And like I said, that was done by Susie Kerr for the Insider, Celebrity Insider, and it was post-dated or pre-dated, no, post-dated, April 12th, okay? 2019. Now, it goes on to say, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey recently announced that she and her boyfriend, Mike Hill, are engaged. But her co-star, Nene Leakes, has her doubts. During an appearance earlier this week on the talk, the host asked Leakes about Bailey's upcoming wedding. And the Real Housewives star dropped a major bombshell. I would have announced the same thing if I was trying to get another season on the show, Nene told the talk co-host Eve. Everybody has to have a storyline. Then, when co-host Cheryl Underwood asked Lee if she was saying that Bailey's relationship with her sportscaster boyfriend wasn't real, Lee replied, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying people do anything for money, honey. Okay. Hello. My goodness, this is just too much. It's too much. Okay, now fast forward. 
she gets to engage today. Yep, today, July 26th. No shit, y'all. And I'm still trying to figure out, girl, where did the... <sighs> you was just with this other guy who you was madly in love with and felt like you could have a relationship with. I don't forgot his name, but if you look at my previous video I did on Cynthia, uh, you're, you you would definitely <laughs> see where I was going with that and showed you post after post of who she was calling herself dating while she was uh, calling herself sitting down and living life and why she wants to be missing somebody so uh, fast and in a hurry. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what's going on with, with Cynthia. I mean, she. Th I mean, do she really think she's getting old and life is passing her by? Or like I said, is she just trying to uh, beat Peter to the altar? Like it's some kind of marathon. It's some kind of race to see who's going to uh, be alone and say it and who's going to be out there, you know, going on living life. I don't know. It, it just really just, I was like, oh my God, is she serious? I mean, because she's in a sense, like Candy was telling her earlier in the month, you know, slow your roll, boo. Okay. Don't be pushing a man into marrying you because it's not going to be what you want when it's all said and done. You know, give a man some breathing room. I mean, come on. You're 52 years old, and the man you're trying to marry that I'm proposed to you, he's 48. So it kind of begs me to differ. What you rushing for, honey? Because he got two kids, and I think they both in college. And then you got Noelle. Don't cry. Don't really know if she, you know, because she had to repeat a semester. Don't even know if she good. Oh, Lord. That's all I got to say. Congratulations, I guess. I don't know, girl. I don't know. Because I want you to keep your coin to be able to secure your coin as you go into old season life. You know, are you invested? Have you invested money in Social Security? Or are you just going to live off your own morals? I don't know because you got to invest in Social Security to be able to draw it. You know what I'm saying, Cynthia? Or did you know that? So let me put you up on game if you didn't know that. Check it out. Investigate it, okay? Go to Social Security Administration. But anyway, I got the, you know, it's, it's it's trending real hard on social media. And like I said, with all the people being there, it seemed like it was a stage event. You know what I'm saying? But, I, I you know, like I said, the cameras don't stop rolling anyway. They don't film and it's ready to, unless they still film. And let me take that back because they could still be filming. And it is all for show. Okay. But I got it from People Magazine. Reputable. Um. News rag, okay. Their uh, title says, She said yes. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey engaged to sportscaster Mike Hill. Okay, that's what they say, y'all. Let's go read a little further. It says, Congratulations are due in order for Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill. People can exclusively report that after 14 months of dating, Real Housewives of Atlanta star 52 and his sports journalist 48 are engaged to be married. His proposed, he, he'll propose to Bailey on Friday with a gorgeous five carat princess cut solitary ring in Atlanta at the grand opening of her new business, the Bailey Wines Cellar. Okay. The, support, the surprise proposal was a family affair with Bailey's daughter, Noel Robinson, 19, and Hill's two daughters, Kayla, 17, and Ashley, 19. That's it. Let, let's just stop there right now. See, I, I thought both of them was in college. Child, you got one that's a junior going to be a senior. Oh, Lord. Are they, are they from the same mother, these two uh girls i don't think so i think i, I don't i don't really think they are i might heal the sportscaster there's some issues with him i just feel it in my spirit you know what i'm saying he just seems like an opportunist and i'm telling you candy birds hit something real hard i mean she did it with uh what's her name Portia Williams, when she, she was trying to tell Portia about Dennis McKinley, she told the streets was talking about this man, and she didn't listen, got knocked up, uh, didn't get 
married before, I mean, that might have been a, a blessing in disguise, you know what I'm saying? But we don't know what storyline she got going on because she and the media are trending too, saying she having another baby, supposedly, allegedly, with Dennis McKinley, the same man that's out there doing bestiality type of behavior as well as getting with any woman that would have him, okay, between the sheets. So that's just a hot mess, okay? And then Candy is sitting there being a true good friend because she really do care for Cynthia, all right? Telling her, don't beg no man to marry you, girl. Stop posting. You're doing all of this and you don't even have a ring. Now, she just said that last month. Now you coming up with a ring. I mean, was that the topic of discussion every time I try to give her? I need a ring. I need a ring. I need to be married. I'm getting old. I'm not getting any younger. I want to get married again. I, I, you know, I, these are the conversations you having with Mike. I'd be confused, too, but instead of giving you a ring, I would give you a promise ring, a promise to think about after some years have passed, at least two years. That we don't have a chance to get into some arguments, get into some disagreements, to see are we ready to be with one another. Because definitely, we know, Cynthia, you already had one bad marriage, all right? Then you turned around. You dated for a few. And you heard Peter was out there dating, so you felt you wanted to date too. You heard Peter, rumor, was going to get married. So you thought, you know, jumping in the airways, wanting to get married too. And I'm like, girl, you. I'm confused for you. If you're not confused, I'm confused for you. You really need to sit down somewhere. Be engaged for at least a year, Cynthia. Test this man out, okay? Because you might have to give him his ring back and say, toodles. You know what I'm saying? You doing? You think you're doing too much, too fast, too soon? I'm serious because you. It says 14 months. Did it say 14 months? What I just read, y'all? Did I just read that? It say for yep, 14 months. I don't think it's been 14 months. I think you just put that out there. I think it's been less than a year. Girl, it's too much. It's too much for me to digest it all in one sitting. Setting. Okay, we're going back to the commentary. We acknowledge that he has two daughters, one named Kayla, she's 17. The other one's name is Ashley, she's 19. All in attendance alongside a crowd of the couple's closest friends and Bailey's. Real Housewives of Atlanta castmates. No, no, no. Your mind is one. Nene Leaks. Okay, girl. Nene Leaks with your friend contract that y'all broke, burned, put on the water. Then you came back. Y'all was friends. Y'all was hunky dory. Then y'all got in another little spat. Now you're really not talking to each other because now you got a man in your life, Cynthia. So now you're going to be up his ass pretty much. Okay. <sighs> Cynthia, 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 why can't you just be by yourself for a little bit? I ain't saying for eternity, honey, but just a little bit. I mean, you just got divorced from Peter. Peter, Peter, Pocket Eater had a wife a good caper, girl. Now you sitting up here trying to say, oh, I got to get married. I got to take all these pictures of, you know, these gorgeous dresses and this, that, and third. And you're taking pictures of white dresses when you know you are spoiled, honey. You should not be trying to put on nothing white, okay? You shouldn't even really be trying to put on a wedding dress, period, okay? Cynthia. Okay, getting back to the article, okay? It goes on to show pretty pictures of her. It seems like she's in a, a, a robe. I don't know what Cynthia got on. But, you know, she could pull off any fashion if she wanted to. But, anyway, he's on one knee. And I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It, like I said, it all looks staged to me. It really does. Looks very staged. But, you know, they're just talking about how he pulled it off, you know, surprising her. And they're saying he had a little help from celebrity event planner Courtney. Uh, what is it? AJ Sinka? AJ Ajika? Well, hell, I don't know how to pronounce the child last name. It's A-J-I-N-C-A. Maybe the J is silent. Uh, Inika? Uh, Alnika? Either way. She he used her as to plan to the event around Cynthia Bailey's new um revenue stream adventure. Uh 
called the wine cellar by Cynthia Bailey or Cynthia Bailey wine cellar, whatever, okay? Because I'm still trying to figure out what happened to her eyewear as well as her luggage wear. You know, I haven't been seeing it in stores I've been thinking they should be in, you know, but it, maybe it's just on Amazon or something. I, I, I'm not really sure. eBay. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the two threw Bailey off the track by making it appear that Hill was giving a toast in honor in honor of Bailey's opening. According to a source on the scene during Hill's speech, Caleb interrupted to hand him a bottle with a big question mark on it, telling him, no, Dad, I think you should propose like this. Then he told Noelle that he needed her help to open the bottle, and she passed him the ring box, helping him open that before he dropped to one knee and proposed, professed his love. Okay, as he did, Noelle, Kayla, and Ashley all gathered behind him with a handmade puzzle piece sign that real can be, wait a minute, made a, a handmade puzzle piece sign that real. Can we be a family? I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but anyway. I read it how it was written, okay? But anyway, it goes on to say it all turned Bailey into a bottle of emotions. Uh, though she was confused at first, Bailey broke down in tears when she saw he'll get down on one knee and asked her the big question. She quickly said yes. The crowd quickly erupted in applause. The source tells people chanting congratulations, see Hill. The nickname Bailey and Hill have adopted or adapted on social media. Okay, and they show, you know, little pictures here and there. Uh, child, please. Then it goes on to say this will be the second marriage for both. See, see what I'm saying? Second marriage. See? Oh, anyway, th this will be the second marriage for both Bailey and Hill, who currently works at Fox Sports 1 out of Los Angeles. She was, pre she was previously married to Peter Thomas, from 2010 to 2017. And it goes on to say, Bailey has made no secret about her desire to walk down the aisle again and marry Hill. I want to marry Mike. I love Mike. He's my soulmate, she told people in December. We talk about getting married all the time. I'm hoping a proposal will happen soon. See, that's what I'm saying, Cynthia. You forced, you coerced the man into marrying you or at least engaging you to be uh, married to. I mean, uh, Cynthia, what happened to just being nonchalant and maybe having one or two conversations about it, but not talking about it all the time because y'all were that serious. Forget a uh, proposal, go straight on to the courthouse or go on and get married. You know, neither one of y'all probably need a big fancy whoop to do type marriage thing. Just go on to the courthouse. You feel that strongly about each other. You feel like this is your true soulmate. You don't need to wait. Go ahead. What's the big deal? Go. Do it. But anyway, if you're really about that life, you know what I'm saying? People ain't going to wait. You want to marry me? Okay, you got the real. Let's go. Let's go get a marriage certificate. We probably have to make, wait a couple of days or maybe a day. And we just go on and get married. Do that thing. Okay. But, girl, please, you talking about engage, all right? You don't beg the man to engage you into the hopes that one day you will get married, okay? A girl, he wanted to marry you straight up like that, and you wanted to marry him straight up like that. Ain't nothing stopping you. Go on to the courthouse. Go on to get that judge to marry you and call it official, all right? But y'all ain't about that life. Y'all tripping. Y'all, I'm about like Nene. Y'all want a storyline here. Y'all want a storyline. But anyway, going on back to this article, it says, I want to marry Mike. I love Mike. He's my soulmate, she told people in December. I'm thinking December of last year, 2018. We talk about getting married all the time. I'm hoping a proposal will happen soon. If not, before the end of this year, then hopefully next. I've certainly been dropping enough hints, but God has a plan, so I'm just letting it go. No, Cynthia, you don't surpass what the Lord was trying to do for you. You don't went past that because you don't set it in motion. You don't bother the man. You don't word him to it. He was just put on the spot to marry you, okay? Or at least propose to you because you still ain't married nowhere in the books, okay? It's just a proposal. <sighs> Getting back to the article says, you know, we've both been married before, so marriage is something we're both 
something we both understand. She added, we're not jumping into this blind. We both have kids and we both love each other very much. We know marriage is the next step. Bailey is currently filming uh, the 12th season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is expected to premiere before the end of the year. Da 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 da. So, yeah, I'm about like Nene. Shoot, this might be a total waste of our time and energy and me reporting on it. But, but I'm just like, did you not listen to Candy Girl? Girl, did you not listen to Candy Girl? She was trying to tell you the truth to slow your roll. Will you be back in a suit? Okay, a lawsuit or a divorce suit, girl. Ooh, premeditated. Okay, premeditated. You don't talk the man into proposing to you, and <laughs> you don't ran the well dry. So for him to kind of say some type of face, he says, "Oh, how much? Let me just go and propose to this girl. I don't know if we're gonna get it down the aisle or not. I don't know if we're gonna try it or not." But she don't bother me so much. Oh, my goodness. She won't let nothing happen spontaneously or just naturally. She got to be forcing me. Oh, just like that Martin thing when Gina was trying to get him to marry her. And he finally said, okay, you got me. Damn, I will marry you. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I mean, that's basically what. She was giving me with, you know, putting all this stuff on Instagram about marriage and all of this stuff. I'm like, girl, why you just didn't ask him, go get him a ring, propose, get down on one knee, and then have the minister there. Okay, it probably would have shot the shit out of him. He probably said, no, nah, girl, we got to wait. We can't get married right now, but we can be engaged. He probably told you the truth because you would have shot the shit out of him. But you don't worry that man, honey. I don't take none of this serious. Even if you do pull it off and get married. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's rushed. It's forced. It was premeditated mostly on your part. And I just don't see no good thing. I am. I'm trying. But, you know, I don't want to see you get caught in losing your dough, your money, your dore me, your greenbacks. Oh, some mess of this nature, this magnitude, honey. But like I said, unless you was in the sports world, who is my heel? Who is my heel? Okay. Shoot, you had more cl clout running in the street with Peter Thomas, okay? Oh, girl, I'm tired of this story already. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. I think it's a travesty myself. I think it's a straight-up travesty. It's bullshit. Nene called it right, and Candy called it right. It's bullshit. But, okay, that's all I had, y'all. Y'all get out in the comments, tell me what y'all thought about it, what y'all think about it. You know, do y'all think it's fake? Do y'all think it's real? Do you think she don't found true love for once? Because I'm like, she she's striking. She's going to strike out. She, You know, two, this, this don't work out for her. I'm like, girl, sit yourself down. Don't be like Elizabeth Taylor and marry seven, eight, ten times, okay? Do you think you got it right? Because you ain't waiting on the Lord nowhere. Not the Lord ain't nowhere in this one. No, not nowhere. Not how you been going, posting on social media. Uh-uh. Girl. Okay, that's all I got, y'all. Peace and blessings. I'll see y'all next video. Bye.